Okay, so um, this uh, is just an open discussion session on Ghibli user groups. <coughs> it might be helpful to just find out what your name is, where you're from, and maybe how you got involved with Joomla and if you're involved in a user group. So that we know who people are. Did you want to start? So my name is Frank Deventer. I come from Hamburg. I started uh, the Joomla community just 2011 when the Joomla Day was in Hamburg. And it was so much fun. I told someone, oh, we have to meet again. And he told me, oh, yes, then we, we just reactivate the Jug in Hamburg. And so, what? Jug, Joomla user group. And so basically because of my urge to see the people again and have a drink, uh, we started meeting regularly mm -hmm. again. Hey, my name is Isidro Vaquero. Uh, I live in Seville, Spain. And uh, I run a, a user group. Uh, it was created quite long ago, but we didn't have a real action until this year. And I'm interested in it. And can see how things, if you have ideas for mm -hmm. more, more, more engaging people and, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm Peter Martin, I'm from uh, I am not involved in organizing that, but I attend uh, some regularly, sometimes to do presentations and sometimes just because uh, the, the presentations are really nice. Um, and actually, it inspired me to set up my own uh, Linux user group in Nijmegen. But uh, yeah, it's 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 really nice. It's, uh, it's kind of uh, informal discussions you can have at those uh, evenings. Okay. So I'm Ruth. I'm from the UK. Are you joining us? Or? Yeah, I oh, can't. Okay. Uh, I'm hmm. from Cologne, and I'm uh -huh. a member of the user group in Cologne. Okay. So how did so you come across Joomla? Uh, I'm coming across Joomla over David. And uh -huh. I have uh, built a few uh, websites with Joomla, okay. so... Um, so I'm Ruth, I live in Suffolk in the UK. Uh, I started Joomla User Group Suffolk with um, someone else who I met on the forums who was from Suffolk and was asking, is anyone else from Suffolk? We met at Joomla Day in 2009 in Maidstone and we said, well, let's start, start a Joomla User Group. And it started with two and a pub. And, uh, <laughs> that always starts with a pub. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, now we have probably 50 or 60 people on our you know, on our mailing list, and we have about 10 to 15 people coming every month. We meet every month. 25 percent. Mm. Oh, it's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and I got involved with Joomla because I needed to do a website for someone that I worked for. And the requirements kept increasing, and I didn't want to write it all myself. So I found Joomla that did log on and everything. So, and now I run a business. So, um, so some of you are already involved, and some of you aren't involved in running jobs at the moment. Um, there are various things that have been set up. It probably was like at the World Conference in November was the first time when a lot of people who ran jugs got together and said, how can we share our resources and what can we do to help each other running user groups or help people who want to start running a user group and give them ideas and support. And the first thing that happened was we set up a Skype chat that's got know, lots of people. I'm not sure how many people are in it at the moment. All these people uh, who are all involved in some way in running general user groups. So if you want to be added, then I've just added you guys, but if you guys... Oh, divisibly, okay, it's not, not a real name, so... Okay. Mm. Sorry? 
Yeah. It just an accompanying name. It usually is. Yeah, yeah it shows so your it's name your of the Skype account. Yeah, right. Um, and that's just like a central place where you can ask questions. You can say what's happened in your user group. You can you can add people if they're interested in running a user group or they want more information. And it's a great place for people to kind of talk about what a user group is and how they what the process is to get started. Um, but the other point that came out of that meeting in the World Conference was that we set up a document, which the link is actually in that Skype chat in the top here. So bit.ly slash jugsmaster, the J-U-G-S in capital letters. Um, and that goes to a document where we've kind of had it as a central repository of links to other documents, rather than putting everything into one document. So if you're interested in finding out who people are who run the user groups, there's one that, where you can introduce yourself and just give a bit of background about who you are, what you do with Joomla, um, which Joomla user group you're involved in, that kind of thing, uh, which is this one, I think. So it's just it's easier than kind of trying to wait for someone to come online before you find out who they are. And if you're coming in, to the user group, you don't necessarily know who all those people are in that list. So you can have a look through. I think pretty much everybody has put, yeah, Frank, you're on there. <laughs> everybody has put um, information on there about who they are and what their interests are. Um, the other links from that document are um, suggestions and ideas for improving jugs. But that can also be ideas if you're going to start a jug, like things to bear in mind. So the idea of that was to kind of share our own experiences. And in some cultures, it works really well to have a monthly meeting in the same place at the same time. And in other countries, it might be better to have it in this area once, and then in that area, and then in that area, so that you can attract more people from different areas, if it's feasibly possible to do that. So people have shared um, all kinds of ideas in here. And if we have any ideas, if, if you guys have any thoughts from your experience of setting up user groups, then you can add them. Um, I have a question, and mm. I think that uh, work for us in mm. uh, We try to do a regular schedule, so yeah. we try to plan a long way in advance. Mm. It's something about a year. Mm. And just a general idea of what kind of session you want to have. Yeah. And so about three months before uh, the actual date is, yeah. you publish what session will be held. Mm. Um, some of the, uh, the sessions are kind of heavy, not for newbies. Yeah. Uh, but this keeps the professionals coming. Yeah. And um, uh, so mm -hmm. also because of me, they got also involved with a bigger project. Mm. And so we are starting out to do there something to, mm. to help people out there. Mm. Um, which, which we are we're very excited about because mm. we will do training things and sort of training programs. Mm. And because of one of our members, we have rooms for training for all people there. We have a as long as they're in the left of the Yeah. And we have got a whole drum of things we have got. I think what you said about having a regular program, but also telling people in advance what the level of, it, of yeah. experience, I think that's important. But the problem we've had is that if you have uh, complete newcomers come to a session that's aimed at intermediates to advance, what do you yeah. do? And if you have, comp ha have experienced developers come to newcomer sessions all the time, they get bored because they're always right. giving help and they're never receiving. I'm well, sometimes not receiving. So that's something that maybe having yeah. sessions that are only for intermediate plus. Ah, we, we try to, to mix it. So we, we try to have a, uh, a simple session or beginner session, a uh, practical solution session, uh, something mm -hmm. yeah, a little advanced, and sometimes we have really uh, good stuff. Mm. So we try, we try so to we have about two sessions uh, on one meeting, one meeting. Yeah. so yeah. we can take a lower one and a higher one. Yeah. But still, we got problems attracting newbies. Yeah, we have this, the opposite. This, this, yeah. <laughs> so far, that's the reason why I make for 
fun of messing with the book. Yeah. Well, well, it's like, you don't know really jack there and get them broke. Yeah. <laughs> the problem we have is the opposite. We have lots of newcomers, lots and lots of newcomers. Yeah. And they learn and then they can help the newcomers. But people who come who are professionals are not having their needs met always. And we've had uh, the, the opportunities that we've provided is like we start with a newcomer's basic talk. So it might be setting up your local host or security or SCF URLs. And then we have a more intermediate advanced one, which our newcomers have said if they're warned that, that will happen. And then the second session might be a little bit over their heads. That's fine because they can learn from it and be stretched. But if they don't know that's going to happen, they can feel really lost and, and not enjoy it and think that they're stupid. So, but we haven't found a way to satisfy both maybe extremes. Maybe people, uh, I mean, announcing it, do you have a web page for the Jack? Yeah, we have a new shiny web page. Oh, yeah, actually, uh, sorry. Actually. And the dates are here. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you could let people uh, sign in or, or telling advice if they're planning to come. Mm, we that do. Could, that could be a. From from Hamburg, it did not really help. Mm -hmm. So I regularly forget to say I'm coming when I come, mm. and also a lot of people say, "Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming," and then something happens and cannot come. And uh, the amount of people gathering, gathering there is not enough to, to really uh, to be by the common solution there. So, yes. And we have a, um, a, a also you can try to a job handle for you. Um, we, 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 have, we have a program and uh, in advance, so it's like I think it's with the dash between job and handle, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about it. So uh, for for team and, and team in the, in the middle next to news. That's about what's got, what's going to happen on the next part. Mm -hmm. So ah, presentation topic. Oh, you know, they, they, they already translated that. They didn't. <laughs> also, ah, okay. Did. Did. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, so if you go down, you see now in May uh, we, what do we have there? So uh, we have a CCK battle and stuff like this in the future, uh, which could have been a little bit different. But, but uh, okay, so so basically you can see. What's, yeah. what, what, what we have there. And you see not everything's being maxed out, so some, some is free. Uh, please click one time on July. Yeah. yeah. So click on it? No. Uh, okay, so normally they would be standing there at that, that I'd be coming off from the agent beyond and having a talk what happened. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah. Right. Uh, but, uh, so we had also discussions or please uh, uh, you explained me last time something about the JCB and uh, mm. would you be willing to do a talk about it next time we need uh, stuff like this. But clearly that probably is I found at uh, Jumla Dagen in the Netherlands the Dr. Jumla idea was really good. They had a, a couple of tables where people who were experienced in Jumla would sit and help people with any Jumla problems for maybe half an hour, an hour. And we, we do that in our user group, but we don't necessarily do it formally. So if people need help, then we give them help outside of the session. Um, but that's something that we're starting to do. So at the beginning, we'll have half an hour of Dr. Joomla, where if anyone has a problem, they, we write them all up on the whiteboard, and then we say, who can help with that problem? And then for half an hour, people are helping. And, uh, and that works very well, and it also empowers the newbies who are coming 
to feel that they do know something, that they can contribute. It might be that somebody doesn't know how to use an extension and they've used that extension before so they can provide the help. So it's really, uh, it takes a bit of encouraging sometimes because people think that they can't do or they can't contribute or they don't know when sometimes they do. They just need someone to say, well, could you help them with that? And that seems to work really well. Um, so, yeah, that's an idea. Um, Another idea, I just uh, submitted it to the document. Awesome, thanks. Um, it's about uh, uh, in, in Rotterdam, um, mm -hmm. they have a, a jack uh, with, which has all its own there. Yep. And Herman Beer, he is also here at the uh, conference, they, he starts uh, in the afternoon to have uh, a meet up with developers. Mm. So most of the developers will uh, just stay for the evening as well. Uh, but in the evening, it's more a user group, and in the afternoon, mm. it's just uh, more a developer group. Mm. It's a good combination to um, yeah. uh, to have the both groups. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea because also then you don't lose people from coming to the user group because they're not doing two different days; they're just coming a bit earlier and doing their geek thing, and then then helping, you know, in yeah. the user group. And also, uh, if they have it at a place where uh, they have a sort of restaurant, mm. so. In between it, you can uh, have dinner with everyone, mm. and so even the, the, the yeah. people who are just users just mix yeah. Yeah, with, with everyone. So uh, and after every session, yeah. So you you get a lot. Uh, the group is really informal. Yeah. Uh, because of the dinner, it's, it's even, even more even more connections. Yeah. yeah but it's really work in Spain, I think. No. <laughs> I know. We, we have dinner at 9, 10, so yeah. it would be well, but maybe could you do the Could you do the developers bit after the gym, the user group? So if you meet at 7, 8 for your user group and then yeah. have developers, have dinner, then have developers? No, that, that's why I say that it wouldn't work because it's too late. Developers, developers are, are night birds. Night. <laughs> 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 they work at night. <laughs> Well, we'll try to try I mean, it might be a suggestion they come alive at night yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean it, it is a, I think that's a really good idea to kind of tack on something but it's you need the developers to actually take the lead in that and run that effectively and the problem we have is we've got too many newcomers and not enough developers so that's my experience in my user group Okay, I have to admit, uh, the people who come together in Rotterdam are uh, from all over the Netherlands. It's mm -hmm. not just Rotterdam, but, uh, well, uh, everything is really close here. So mm. uh, therefore, it's, it might be easier to gather with developers. Mm, maybe. Not many people are going to drive long with this trip. Mm. We have some people who drive for two hours to come to our user group because there's nothing else nearby and they have no other co contact with Joomla users. I'm surprised. Yes. <laughs> when they arrived, I was surprised. But two hours? Yeah. It's cool. Mm. Yeah. That, that, in my case, that would mean that from people from the nearby cities, mm. Huelva, Malaga, Cordoba, mm -hmm. even the, the, almost the whole of Madrid here would, yeah. would be able to come. We, get, we certainly get a lot of people who are drive. between half an hour to an hour's drive because there's nothing else happening Joom in Joomla in East Anglia. So we get people from Colchester, people from further afield. So. It's worth putting it out there that you're running the group because if they're interested and they can get commercial value from attending, then why not? It's only half an hour's drive, you know, ten pounds petrol. Uh, I don't know if that's the same in Spain, but if people know that there's somewhere they can go to get answers and it would be quicker than spending two days trying to figure out the answer, then yeah. I noticed Peter was uh, typing something else, but <laughs> if you want to add anything to this document, it is just managed by all of us, so if you have any ideas or any thoughts going forward. I, I'd like to know if you have any 
suggestions mm -hmm. for groups which are just starting. We managed yeah. to get a core mm -hmm. of very committed people. Yeah. Uh, but now we're going to start attracting yeah. newbies and more people to the, mm -hmm. to the group to, to make it worth it. I, mean, it, I yeah. don't mean it's not really working, but sure. just to, to, to make it work at its full potential. Yes, I've got more people. Mm -hmm. Any suggestions about how to... I can tell you how we did it, which yeah. might not be the best way, but that, how we did it right. three years ago. Um, when we went to Jumla Day in the UK, we put a shout-out at the end, and, or at lunchtime, and we said if anybody who lives in East Anglia is interested, so like the whole of East Anglia is interested in um, setting up a user group, let's meet together. There were about ten people. So we said, right, okay, so let's set a date and a time here and now where we'll meet together and we'll talk about running a jug. Then only two people turned up, me and Matt. And uh, so we started, we said, well, we'll start it anyway. If we start it, then people will come. And we searched Google for com underscore content Suffolk, com underscore content Ipswich, com underscore content, you know, to try and find sites that were running Joomla that were in our radius. And we made a spreadsheet of the phone numbers, email address, address of all of them. And we spam. Yeah, <laughs> we spammed them. We emailed them personal emails. We, we took the time to send them a personal email to say how we found their site, to explain what Joomla was, because they might not know they have a Joomla website, um, to explain that we weren't a commercial entity, that we were a user group, and that we're there to help people develop their websites uh, to give them ideas for what they could do, to put them in touch with developers if they don't want to do the development. And so we reached out to them to say, this is what we're setting up, and it's going to be here every month at this time. Please come. And we got maybe, uh, at that time, we moved it around the county. So we kind of went on tour. And each month we were in, we were in Ipswich, then we were about 20 miles away in another town in Suffolk. Then we went to another town, then we went to another town. And that helped to be closer to different people so they didn't have to travel as far. So some people were more willing to come uh -huh. if it was closer to them. But the downside of that is that you're always moving. And so people don't always know when it is, where it is, where to park, how to find it. You don't have a so it's benefits against problems. Yeah, and, and also it, it should be a bit more difficult for, for you. It was, for the core of in the, the end it became too difficult because we had to find venues, we had to get arrangements with the venue, how much does it cost, is it free, how much, you know, and, and it was confusing for our users because they didn't know where it was going to be. So in the end we decided to stop and stay in Ipswich which is where we all lived, it's where the core team lived. Um, and have a venue, we had a venue for free where we can have up to 15 people with Wi-Fi for, for as long as we need and at weekends if we need to run events. And that was really helpful to have a free venue because then you're not, you don't have a problem with charging. Um, and really helpful. So we now have all our meetings in the same place every month. Same day of the week every month, same time. So everybody can just put a recurring thing in their diary. They know it's going to be that weekend. Um, that, that day, sorry. Thursday night we meet from 7 till 10. So. Soon. Yeah. <laughs> but the other thing that's important, that we found was important, was that all those email addresses we collected, we added them to a newsletter. And they can unsubscribe if they want to unsubscribe. We added them to a newsletter and we email every every month. We tell them, hello. We tell them what's happening in the user group, what's happening in Joomla. Um, if there's if there are security updates and there are vulnerability updates, then we send an email out on that list to tell all of these people who are using Joomla that there's an update they need to apply. And we use Facebook, we use Twitter, we use Google Plus. Um, one of the most important things for us has been getting a core of people who are in different professions, who don't work the same hours, and who can do different things. 
Because if you've got three people who all run their own business, they don't necessarily have the same flexibility as people who were employed, we found. So, so it's been helpful to have a range of personalities, a range of experience level in the core team, if you can. Um, we have a page and a group. We've had a page for a long time, and then one of the people in the user group said, I think we should have a group as well. So we have both. Um, we are starting, and we have uh, basically, there was a guy who wanted to create everything, mm -hmm. everywhere, but we are only six, five, six active right now. Yeah. So there's no need to have, there, there are more profiles than people. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it makes no sense uh, as of For now. Sure. But so, so I, I suggested to, to just stay on Twitter and Google uh, for the moment, mm -hmm. and, uh, and but, but I think he had already created also a, a LinkedIn mm -hmm. group. Of, I think it, it, it's important to start small so you mm -hmm. can manage it because otherwise you'll find yourself working one hour every week only to to keep mm -hmm. on your profile. Yeah. yeah, so. Mm -hmm. it, it makes no sense. We can create six. Mm -hmm. We can just email everybody. Mm -hmm. Ah, I just remember. I would try to do this. We we send out a reminder from all the uh, the good users just to tell them. So uh, for our next meeting, so please tell everyone further that we will have a meeting. Send it around. Yeah. I think also a really important thing about being on the core team of running a user group or starting a user group is what is your what's your reason for starting a user group? Because there have been some user groups in the UK certainly, I don't know further afield, that have been started with the reason of I want to make money from Joomla and I want to raise my profile. And trust me, it doesn't happen quickly. If it does happen it takes time for you to build up your profile. And so some of these user groups, like they start with that as their reason for being. That doesn't happen. You get people coming along, and then the people who start the group decide that it's not uh, there's no return on investment, so they shut the user group. And so, yeah, I think it needs to be quite clear what the purpose is for the user group to to share knowledge. To well, what's the purpose for your user group? Uh, I would say that it's important that it's clear yeah. that the purpose is not making yeah. <laughs> directly because yeah. uh, otherwise, because I mean, here we are talking about it from the community. Mm. In my understanding, it, it doesn't make sense to create a jack mm. with a commercial mm. specific purpose. Mm. I mean, of course, uh, uh, you need people, uh, this yeah. can track business. Uh, so yeah. It's there, everybody knows it, but yeah. the reason for creating it could never be that mm. because, the, I mean, what you say, it takes time, yeah. so you cannot uh, um, if, if a, a, a business doesn't give you profit, you close it. Yeah, so exactly. You, you won't be exactly. able to, to be uh, running such mm. thing, which is only costing you time and, and mm. effort, so it's, it's important that that job is not about money. Mm -hmm. It can help mm. your business, but it's not about that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, the core reason for creating a yeah, business it's, it's sure, can sure, be sure, sure. money. It's actually, actually um, it's not earning money, but it's... Uh, if you put it into a relation, uh, you get advice or ideas from other people yeah. that actually save your time, nerves, yeah. uh, yeah. and, and this it's also yeah. bargain for money. Just for Absolutely. example, which extensions of this four version should I take? If someone is uh, there, oh, I tried to, oh, this makes problems with that, you use it. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to use it, oh, then you'll be fine with it. The other one has that, that, that yeah. one. Absolutely. Wow. Cool. Otherwise, yeah. it would just take you a yeah, day yeah. just to figure it out. Mm. Yeah, I, of course. Uh, I mean, that makes
maybe it should also be mentioned when creating the group or and even in the what do we do uh, for newcomers. Uh, yeah. It, it, it would be a, a good thing to be advised, but mm. not to create a group yeah. to make money. I mean, no, that's yeah. not mm -hmm. yes, uh, wrong. I, I had somebody asking me about starting a Joomla user group in their region in the UK because there is no organisation like Drupal have within Joomla to provide commercial support and they thought that the setting up a Joomla user group would fulfil that need, would be the forum that businesses would go to for commercial support. So I think that it really needs to be clear what a user group is when somebody's interested in starting it up. But also, like, what is involved in running a user group? Because it is a commitment. As you know, when you start doing this, you do have to put time into it, and you do have to be willing to help other people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right now, I'm, I'm not having much spare time. I know that we have a, all the core that we are now are quite committed. If I personally don't keep pushing, it yeah. gets top stalled. So it's very important at the beginning to push, 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 push yeah. until it gets in attraction to yeah. to get to or, or, or the more the better mm. people uh, really committed to yeah. to keep your your place when you don't yeah. have time. So it it don't just become a group that depends on you personally. Mm. I, I I won't be able to be there for all the meetings all the time. It's taken us three years to get to that place. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> it, took me, it took me three years to be mm. where I am now. Yeah, I, I because um, initially me and Matt were doing all the presentations and doing all the sessions and, and you know, organising everything. And that, you can't just not do it. Yeah. You know, if, I step, if I stepped out too soon, it just didn't happen. Nobody took up the reins and nobody volunteered. But now we have people who benefited from the user group, who are inspired by the user group, who want to help others. And they can step in and help. So, but it does take time. And then obviously the same as with several people who are involved in the user group. Yeah. So I think it's also important to see the people who are involved. Yeah. And it's always very scary. Who's going to do presentation next time? I'm not even saying that. So, um, maybe somebody say, but if I uh, yeah, it, yeah, it depends yeah. on the group. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, about the up to the group, you may uh, you get people more involved. So, I suggest one, so, okay, next time we all uh, go in detail, talk about five minutes about your favorite extension of the tool you use in your day. Yeah. And then you have the I really like this group, and somebody else can say, no, I don't have uh, for this one. So mm. we start the discussions, and so people also find out it's not that scary to present something in five minutes, so mm. they might need to do more. Mm. Uh, I think that was important in, in, in Amsterdam, and I know that other groups tried that as well. What we think about know the barriers to really get involved as well. Mm. It's not just something people do. We've also had sessions, well most, most um, meetings, we have kind of 15 minutes for people to present projects they've done and sometimes that turns into a whole presentation, yeah. like a few months later we say well could you do that for a whole, to tell us how you did it and how it all fits together and how did you do the template and yeah it gives people the confidence. Yeah, a lot of people are unsure about am I really doing, uh, able to do a presentation about this, but yeah. it's interesting, uh, that's just by telling them about their experience and their experience and their project, that's what I really need to presentation. What, what I really uh, see for myself is um, I'm, I'm doing more, say, groundwork, scientific work, if I'm preparing the job. Normally, I would not take the time just to do it, just because I think it's interesting, mm. because it would be too damping to me. Mm. So this is for me a way to justify just putting more effort into it, also learning new stuff. Mm. So it's, 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 I think, 
having talks or sessions, mm. it's a really great way of uh, also uh, to grow. Mm. We also talked in the um, documents about if you are, if you know people, or if you are willing to speak at Zoom or yeah. user group events, and maybe over Skype or a Google Plus Hangout, um, because some user groups don't have any developers or they don't have technically skilled people; they are all newcomers. Um, so we've also, I think, I'm not sure if there's a document for that. Um, da -da -da -da, meet up. Maybe there's not a document for that yet, but that was something that we did discuss, that it might be that people might be in the area and they could come and talk at your user group. You do that in the Netherlands, don't you? Go and visit yeah. each other's groups. And it really depends on some users which are very interested in the travel expenses to get there. Most of them are giving a local person for the university based on the system. And they just need to know for the big baby, the baby thing. I think it's the university. Is that the area that you are in the school? Yeah. Yeah, I did my Zoom World Conference presentation at my user group. Don't do it three days before you fly, <laughs> because they so change this, change this, do this, do that, do this differently, add this to here, and da da da. And so on the flight to America, I was changing my presentation, but it was really good because then they felt involved, like they they contributed as well. And so also when you're really clear and surveying and doing different presentations and doing lots of your feedback uh, to yeah. improve it for the model. Yeah. So if you want to be added to the Skype group, you just let me know your Skype username. I can add you and I've already added you guys. But, um, it's a really good place to start. And the, the link is, uh, has everybody got it written down already? If not, it's up here, bit.ly slash jugsmaster with J-U-G-S in the capital letters. And that will get you to the master document, which has got the links off to all the other documents. So there's loads of information there, and there's loads of people in this chat who run user groups or are involved in user groups. And it can get, it's, we've had some really good discussions about problems people are having or ideas for how to move things forward. So I'd really recommend if you're involved in a user group or you're thinking about setting one up to, to yeah, just talk about it in there. And the place uh, to go for all the information about user groups is community.joomla.org slash user-oops.html. So if you just search in Google for Joomla user groups, you'll find this. And uh, the map gives you details of how many user groups are in a particular area. And so then. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> in Europe. From the Netherlands. <laughs> in Europe, you can see them here. Fifteen. It hasn't. There's maybe four ah. that are running. But if you put it into a perspective of the size of the country, the uh, yeah. Netherlands is just way oh, on top. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did the numbers, uh, uh, that those exact numbers. I divided the population by mm -hmm. the number of jacks uh, to see how many jacks per inhabitant mm -hmm. were there when uh, to my kick-off presentation for our object and what the lab is, it's incredible. So about one to two. So when you go into the information, it tells you about the Joomla user group, it gives you the information about the contacts, mm -hmm. where they meet, their email and social details, how often they meet, and so forth. So tomorrow at this venue, we have a user group, so if you're around Amsterdam, uh, it does not happen at 6 in the morning, ever. No, <laughs> I'm flying at 4. Sorry,
Yeah, bit.ly slash and then it's capital J U G S. Last there. I have a question about it. If, if you go one uh, page back on the website of the church. Have you got that? Yeah. So one page back to the Amsterdam list. No, or to the I mean to, to the total overview. Yeah. And then to the map. If, if you look at, uh, at at the map, there are a lot of places in the world where uh, there are no user groups at all. Mm -hmm. um, does anyone of you have any suggestions how we can motivate people in those areas to start their own user groups or mm. how we can improve this. If, if you have, uh, just add it to the documents. Yeah, for sure. If there are places where there aren't in the user groups, then... I guess that there, it's, uh, there are too many problems. Joomla is not that, well, we talked about that in, in the leadership meeting. It's China, this big space there in the middle is basically China and Russia. Uh, that's one problem, and Joomla is not that important there. And the other one is site internationalization, localization. Mm. With a Russian, we find probably hard to mm. find his way here, as well as a Chinese or a Japanese mm. from East. So I think that would be important. So there are a lot of Russian developers. Yep. So I don't think there's no Joomla in Russia. No, 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 but I, know. It's I know, I know, but I mean for them to go into the Yeah. That was more for China. Yeah, the yeah. First but mm. Russian is one of the most growing languages mm. in Zimbabwe.org. Yeah, there's a Russian guy who lives in Ipswich who contributes to the project. Mm -hmm. Alex. He <laughs> lives in my town. He comes to my mm -hmm. user group. Uh, it, I think the part of it is also that there needs to be an understanding of what a user group is and how it can benefit you and whether that fits with the culture. Do we know? Linux user groups or other open source projects have also this gap mm -hmm. in the maps? Yes. They also um, have it? Well, um, I am I'm trying to, to, to set up a website with all those uh, Linux user groups. Oh, for Linux? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, when I was looking for information uh, in Europe, uh, we have a lot of uh, places, but um, they have the same kind of gaps. Also in the South, uh, South, uh, South, uh, South America, it's, it's uh, totally uh, yeah. but Maybe I have to, to look for other things like, uh, not for the user group, but some other things. Yeah. 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 I think it's also a very way to There have been many problems yeah. in South America. People approaching approaching groups for, for profit. Mm. Just yeah. for profit, yeah. And then look at the media things. Uh, and also like for example Italy, there's a huge community. Yeah. 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 And there are the Duma is about most thousand people. Most people yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's yeah. really interesting to also find out and we're gonna do that earlier and trying to understand why these groups are working in certain areas. And if there's anything that we can do differently to help facilitate something happening regularly, even if it's not called a user group, even if it's once a year having a conference in addition to a Joomla day or something. Yeah. So is there anything else that people can, any questions or anything that unanswered that you'd like answered? In general or? No, what's the what, what's the <laughs> answer to the yeah no, forty two? Really, <laughs> I really want to just say thank you for having me here this meeting because there are a couple of things I really want to try out. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah. We try to attract uh, to, to to attract some leaders to mm. to uh, to Hamburg, so we really want to uh, 
I think marketing is really important. We also did a paid uh, Facebook campaign, which worked really, really well. For the user group. For the user group. We had a budget, a small budget, just to do, you know, here there is a user group. It was very tightly targeted just to Suffolk um, and just to people who had website design in their profile or something like that. And that was very successful. And also a LinkedIn ads, but they're more expensive. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. The other thing I would say, if you run a business or you're involved in a gym, the business, when you're talking about your business, talk about the user group. Tell people that there is a user group that runs, if they have a Joomla website, they can come to that to learn how to do more. Even if you maintain their Joomla site. I have clients who come to my Joomla user group because they learn. The disadvantage is they say, oh, you know that thing you were talking about? Can I have that on my site? You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then they know. And they, you know, a security update comes and they know more about it before I know about you it. You don't want them to see Brian's presentation. You don't want them to see this. you are. Yeah. Okay, well. Thank you. Thanks. Let me go. Does anyone else want